Welcome back, everybody. This is your host, AMF1534. And I'm doing something that I totally forgot to do earlier in this game. It was definitely brought to my attention that I needed to uh, redo a couple of boss fights because, as I promised a long time ago, I was going to do each of them twice. Which, I do remember saying that. And because um, you get the legendary boss item for the Yeti in the very first realm, you have no choice but to fight him with the item first, so now I'm going to go back in and fight him without it. I realize that I'm quite a few levels ahead of where I was when this, you know, when I fought him the first time, but I didn't really think about it till I'd already finished recording all of this, so... It's not going to be nearly as difficult, but nonetheless, I will do this for you. With no item intact. Just so you can see how it goes. So just as normal, you just gotta go right ahead and start going. You don't you won't have the fires uh, the parchment of fire to block all of his projectile moves. So now you just gotta you just gotta paint it out. Just be careful for when he does the uh, the ground punch move of his, because that's when the, the little spikes will come out. But you can use those as protection for when he does his his jumping ground move. So it'll block the uh, the incoming shock wave of death. And then dodge those when you can. Yeah. You can also use those to help block those as well. Ah! Ah! Trying to get hit like that. Because at your level, it's probably going to hurt a little bit. But, probably not at mine. Ugh. Ouch. Your move backfired, Mr. Man! Now, the I do have one other boss fight to do as well, because I also forgot to do that one. But, I will do that one in just a moment after I do this one. Ouch. Ugh. Ouch. Ouch. It hurts so bad! I can only imagine getting hit by a piece of ice that big would more than likely crush your fragile body into many, many pieces. That's just what I'm imagining with my head. May not be the same for you. Hey, I gained a level. <laughs> like, that really, really matters in this grand scheme of things here. Did that even hit him? I don't even feel like that actually hit him. Ouch. I don't know if there's actually really any way to block that. But I have been proven wrong many, many a time by my faithful viewers, so... Ouch. Ow! Damn it all! Ah! I am not paying very good attention. It's probably because I just, like, woke up, so I'm still a little bit fuzzy in the brain. This guy can definitely be a little bit tricky if, you, if you're ill-prepared for this fight, so... Make sure that you kind of keep your distance from him a little bit. And then that will be the end of his life again. Sands the fire. Again! I know. How exciting. Oh my god. We get a lot of gold Three, for the other boss fight. Well, how about that? Oh, for God's sakes, just give me the meat! That sounded really gay, I'm sorry. Okay. So, now that I've gotten that one done, very quickly, like, we're going to go do the other one. The other one, who may you ask it be? 
didn't really sound very normal. We're going to go back to the dream world and fight the Shadow Wraith once more. Because we also didn't really get to finish fighting with him. Or we fought him, but we had we also had the legendary item before we saw him the first time. So now we're going to go fight him without the use of the Lantern of Revelation. Which, he can be quite the little bastard without it, because he does have quite the array of attacks for you. So, let's not waste any time and just go for it. I wouldn't suggest being this close to him, because he does have a sweeping attack that will hurt very, very badly. Make sure you stay away from his giant claw attack, that thing there. And from his shadow ball, that also is going to hurt very badly. That one. It will also slow you down pretty badly. Make sure you avoid that thing, just because it doesn't look very good. It's kind of hard to tell when he's going to do that move sometimes. A lot of the time when he does that little uh, snake move of his, you can probably just stay in one spot and you'll more than likely go unharmed. Oh, I ran right into it! Ah! Yes, do remember to stay away from that one too. Ouch. Here's his, oh my god, deadly snakes that won't even touch me. There's a lot of times that you can just stand here and just kind of wail away on him. He's not nearly as deadly as he looks. But if you don't know his full array of attacks, like myself for instance, he can be quite the, quite the little pain in the dick. I, I will readily admit that. But his his level of annoyance is nothing compared to the Yeti, I think. But he has his moments of being pretty pretty unruly and ridiculous. Yes, also make sure you stay that's why I recommend you stay back because he does that little like salad shooter move of his, which can uh, be pretty painful if you're standing too close. <laughs> Sweet! Ah! All right. Looks like he's about ready to die again. How exciting! Ah! Don't slow me down. Yeah! Get that power shot off. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ah, he's dead again! Alright! So. Now, with that being said. He is now dead for the second time without the legendary item needed. And recovered his shard. Again, of course. From this realm, of course I did. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we have once again killed both of the, the bosses that I kind of accidentally skipped. And so now that I've done that, I can continue on to what I was originally doing before. Which I don't remember exactly what that was. I think it was probably going to the Desecrated Temple. Or possibly the Battlegrounds area. We'll just have to see. But I thought that by popular demand, I would go back and do those for you. And so I'm glad that I got to get that finished and out of the way. But now we have other things to tackle. So stick around for the next episode of Let's Play GDL. And we will get going with that. Because there's important shit to take care of. 
and since Sumner's too lazy to do it himself, I will do it. So, until then, everybody, until then, just sit tight. See you later.